Hi, this is Jeff uh, with the new Mariner and we are going to go ahead and show you how to plug in your battery. The first thing you always want to do is turn on your transmitter first. This is the DJI transmitter. You'll get a positive red light here. That's ready to go. And I'm going to first plug in the power management system here. Black, the black lead is going to go on a black marker which we have it marked here. Just like this. And we have the main Dean's plug, which is the your main uh, battery connection. You gotta make sure you plug this in properly, and we get a nice happy tone there. Tuck all the cords in. And normally when we would fly this, we'd have the top on, but we're gonna give you a little demo of what it's like um, without the top. This is uh, the indicator light that you're gonna see here. It's a blinking green light. And when it's blinking green, it means you have enough satellites to fly. However, it's always recommended that you wait until you see a rapid flashing green light and then it goes back to uh, standard fla flashing green. And also when you're going to be performing a compass calibration, you always want it to be locked on to as many satellites as you can. And we're going to go ahead and perform a uh, compass calibration. Okay? So, do you want to come over here close, Joe? So to perform the compass calibration, we're going to switch the, the, the three position switch all the way from the top to the bottom, six to ten times, and ending on GPS. So here we're going to, once we do that, we should find a uh, bright orange light on the side here. So here we go. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Let me try it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Here we go. We're going to pick up the quad and we're going to rotate it 360 degrees at our waist here. Once I go 360 degrees, you'll see this orange light turn to green. Right there. Then we're going to turn the quad. <laughs> I didn't do this right. With this out. With the nose out, nose out and down. off which it has and that means you're you if you get two blinking red lights that means that your your calibration was unsuccessful if you have no blinking red lights that means you were successful so there. So what do you think Jeff? It's really stable. It's great. Okay, just moving it around right now to get a feel for it. Even if you do 360 degree rotations, Jeff, it, it really does a good job on that for stabilization. I, I, like, the, I like the rapid yaw, it's really nice. It's so smooth, I love it. Nice and stable, isn't it? Really nice. It's a good camera platform, even without a gimbal. Look at that. Yeah, the wind's picking up. It's, uh, five plus maybe five to eight knots, but still not too bad. So Jeff will maneuver it around a little bit more. You're running it through the faces, Jeff. It's just so predictable now. It's so great. I love the altitude. Game setup 
this perfect. It's a great camera pod one. So Joe, what we're doing here is we're tuning the nozzle to where we don't have any drift. And it was drifting in a, in a counterclockwise circle. We took the GPS puck and we clocked it towards the one o'clock position. Normally it's facing straight forward at 12 o'clock. So we clocked it a little bit counterclockwise, excuse me, clockwise. So where we're gonna test this, it's being in GPS hold right now. I'm gonna move, give it a little bit of stick movement. We'll see how far from, from the center position that it'll, it'll go. And I'm gonna put my finger underneath the quad. It's not rotating though, Jeff, it just yeah. stays there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So once it stabilizes out, you should clock it after you stabilize it. That's not, that's not moving that much. You want to do it a so little bit more? So that's pretty good, let's try it a little bit more, and if, and if it overcompensates, then we will okay. stop it. Yeah, so. So. We're going to take the GPS puck, which is at about a 12.30 position. We're going to go ahead and clock it to 1 o'clock. Okay. So one o'clock position of the GPS for this unit probably compensates for a little bit of the metal of the wires, but man, that is really holding steady. We've got no wander, no rotation. We've got great heading lock and altitude lock. <laughs> 